Your Excellency, to receive the insignia of a distinguished companion of the New Zealand Order of Merit, Mrs. Linley Dodd of Tauranga, for services to children's literature and book illustration. Mrs. Dodd is an internationally renowned writer of children's literature and is best known for her Harry McClary stories, now numbering 14, which are widely read in New Zealand. The Harry McClary series are in the top 10% of children's books sold in, in both Australia and the United Kingdom. She has written and illustrated a number of other highly regarded children's books, including The Knackle Tree, A Dragon in a Wagon, and The Apple Tree and Other Stories. Mrs. Dodd has received many awards, including the Esther Glenn Medal and the Children's Picture Book of the Year Award. To receive the insignia of a companion of the New Zealand Order of Merit, the Most Reverend Max Mariu of Tokoroa, for services to Māori and the community. Bishop Mariu became the first Māori Catholic Bishop in 1988 and is currently Assistant Bishop in the Catholic Diocese of Hamilton. He was ordained a Catholic priest in 1977 and served in various parishes before being appointed a bishop. Bishop Mariu has a special interest in Māori history, cultural activities, and the welfare of Māori. Honorable Paul Naser of Wellington for services as a judge of the High Court. Justice Naser served as a judge of the High Court from 1989 to 1998. Since his retirement, he has acted as a temporary judge on a regular basis. He was Solicitor General from 1980 to 1989 and has served on numerous committees, including the Criminal Practice Committee and the High Court Rules Committee. He has also served as Deputy Chairman of the Council of Law Reporting and is a member and chairman of the Criminal Law Reform Committee. Your Excellency, may I now call on the Acting Secretary and the Registrar of the Queen's Service Order, the Herald of the New Zealand Order of Merit, to summon others who have received appointments to those orders. Your Excellency, to receive the insignia of a Companion of the Queen's Service Order for Community Service, Mrs Eileen Porori of Whangarei. Mrs. Porori has made an important contribution to the Northland, Ma Northland Māori community for over 40 years. She has been president of the Whangarei Māori Women's Welfare League since 1994. Mrs. Porori helped set up Te Arua Nanga o Ngāti Whātua and has been a volunteer worker in its office. On, a culture, on the cultural front, she has performed in Europe, China and Australia. receive the insignia of a Companion of the Queen's Service Order for Public Services. 
Mrs. Mary Ogg of Gore. Mrs. Ogg was Mayor of the Gore District Council from 1995 to 2001. She was the first woman Mayor of the Gore District. For a period, she chaired the Gore and District's Health, Health Authority and played a key role in the development of a new independent Gore Hospital. Mrs. Ogg has been actively involved in a wide range of local issues and organisations. to receive the insignia of an officer of the New Zealand Order of Merit, Mr John Masters of Christchurch, for services to return services personnel and the community. Mr Masters has devoted himself to veterans affairs. Since 1996 he has served on the board of management of the Ranadar War Veterans Home. In 1999 he led a move to transfer the home ownership to a local trust, of which he is now the chairman, and set about raising $1.2 million for renovations and additions to the home. Mr. Masters has served on the War Disability Pensions Panel and the Agent Orange Trust and the Christchurch Returned Services Association Committee. Mr. Richard Northey of Auckland for public services as a member of parliament from 1984 to 1990 and from 1993 to 1996. Mr. Northey was involved in a wide range of issues in particular relating to local government, electoral law reform and social justice. For the past nine years he has been a member of the Auckland City Council. Mr. Northey is a past president of the New Zealand Campaign for Nuclear Disarmament and of the Citizens Association for Racial Equality. He is convener of the Auckland Community Volunteers and a member of the Council of the Foundation for Peace Studies. Associate Professor Carol Shepherd of Auckland for services to the arts. Associate Professor Shepherd, Deputy Head of the Elam School of Fine Arts, is a multidisciplinary artist who has worked in many media over the last 20 years, including painting, sculpture, photography, assemblage, and printmaking. Professor Shepherd established the Association of Women Artists in 1980 and has served on several arts advisory boards and acted as a consultant to many private and public organisations. Emeritus Professor Russell Stone of Auckland for services to historical research. Professor Stone has made a significant contribution to education in, as a historian. He is a leading historian of the Auckland region. Over the, over the years, Professor Stone has given freely of his time so that young people might better appreciate their past and has served on the executive of the Auckland History Teachers Association. Colonel John McLeod of Wellington 
Colonel McLeod enlisted in the New Zealand Army in 1978 and has worked extensively in the human resource policy area. During 1998, he served with distinction with the United Nations in Angola. In the last five years, he has overseen significant changes in defence personnel remuneration, remunerations and conditions of service. More recently, he has instigated the resolution of 50 years of medallic grievances. Colonel McLeod has a long-standing interest in military history and is the author of the book Myth and Reality, a book about New Zealand soldiers during the Second World War. Major John Flanagan of Wellington. Major Flanagan enlisted in the New Zealand Army in 1983. As Chief of the Mine Action Coordination Centre in Pristina, he led the international effort in Kosovo on all mine action activities. Major Flanagan quickly established a coordination mechanism enabling the clearance of mines from houses, schools and public places. His technical expertise and the management skills undoubtedly saved many lives. Your Excellency, to receive the insignia of a member of the New Zealand Order of Merit, Mr. Reg Moore of Wainui Amata, for services to local government. Mr. Moore has been involved in local government representing Wainui Amata for 30 years and is currently chair of the Wainui Amata Community Board. For 23 years, Mr. Moore was a member of the Wainui Amata Council, for 14 years served on the Hutt County Council, and for six years on the Wellington Regional Council.
Our responsibilities include assisting teachers, maintaining the library and operating the TLAO program for all junior classes. Mrs. Raymond, you received a multi-served educational award in 1999. Pat Robson of Christchurch for services to conservation and to the community. Mr. Robson has been almost solely responsible for the development and maintenance of the Birdland Sanctuary at Okuti Valley on Banks Peninsula since he established it in 1988. Mr. Robson is chairman of the trust managing the sanctuary. He has also been a volunteer wildlife ranger for six years and a voluntary launch warden for five years. services to the community. Mrs. Ronaldson has been involved in the community and social welfare of the Maori for many years. She is a long-standing member of the Tauranga Moana District Maori Council. Mrs. Ronaldson is a former chair of the Western Bay of Plenty Child Protection Team and a member of the Tauranga Hospital Board Research and Ethics Committee. Mrs. Ronaldson has been instrumental in helping many young people through the Children and Young Persons Court. Mr. Chotubai Seema of Auckland for services to the Indian community. Mr. Seema has made a major contribution to the Auckland Indian community for over 50 years. 
He's been the Auckland delegate for the New Zealand Central Indian Association since 1949 and served on its executive committee for six years. Mr. Seema is a former president of the Auckland Indian Sports Club, the Auckland Indian Association, and the Mahatma Gandhi Community Project. Dr. Neil Sinclair of Putararu for services to the arts and to the community. Dr. Sinclair has played a leading role in the development of an arts group in Putararu. He was the founding president of the Putararu Community Arts Council and served on the National Regional Council for 10 years. Dr. Sinclair has made a major contribution to policy development for the Queen Elizabeth II Arts Council and more recently for Creative New Zealand. Lieutenant Colonel Mary Sharp of Auckland. Lieutenant Colonel Sharp has served in both the territorial and the regular force of the New Zealand Army since 1979. Since January 2000, Lieutenant Colonel Sharp has been responsible for coordinating the provision of medical and surgical support to the United Nations forces in East Timor, including the recruitment of qualified civilian health professionals. Lieutenant Colonel Sharp's efforts have ensured that the very highest standard of medical care has been available to personnel deployed to East Timor. Major Peter Kelly of Wellington. Major Kelly was a member of the joint planning team established for the deployment of forces to East Timor. He was subsequently appointed to command a unit that was sent to East Timor to provide support for the evacuation of United Nations staff. Major Kelly's success in establishing a close working relationship with the Australian forces paved the way for the later follow-on deployment of other New Zealand Defence Force personnel. Lieutenant Ross James of Christchurch. Since 1999, Lieutenant James has headed the Army Youth Life Skills Program, supporting the development of young people aged 12 to 18 upwards, many in the at-risk category. Lieutenant James has established contacts with youth organizations and has developed a first-rate training through his strong leadership and ability to foster teamwork and the pursuit of excellence. Warrant Officer Class 1, Mark Hunter of Christchurch. Warrant Officer Hunter served in East Timor as an infantry brigade sergeant major from September 2000 to March 2001. He was instrumental in ensuring that brigade staff and attached personnel were fully trained and capable of fulfilling their duties as peacekeepers. He also coordinated the preparation of facilities for the East Timor elections. Warrant Officer Hunter's efforts to maintain morale and team cohesion and to ensure that soldiers from six different nationalities work together harmoniously, guaranteed a successful mission.
Your Excellency, to receive the Queen's Service Medal for Community Service, Mr. Richard Jordan of Kaiapoi. Mr. Jordan is a founder member of the Kaiapoi Lions Club and has been heavily involved in local youth and community services. He has actively promoted the town, serving on the Kaiapoi Promotion Association for many years and running their annual Christmas carnival. Mr. Jordan worked on the on the project to reduce the pollution of the Cam River and is currently a member of the Waimaka Wariri District Council and the Kaiapoi Community Board. Mrs. Nolene Keller of Christchurch. Mrs. Keller has given dedicated service to the pipe band movement for more than 50 years. During that time, she has held numerous appointments in a variety of local and national pipe bands and Highland dance groups. In addition to her current role on the National Council of the Royal New Zealand Pipe Band Association, Mrs. Keller is an experienced drummer, drum major, and remains an active piper. <coughs> Mrs. Lillian Lawless of Pairua City. Mrs. Lawless has been involved with Rugby League for over 40 years, holding a variety of committee appointments in Pairua and the Wellington Rugby League clubs, as well as coaching and managing various junior teams. In recent years, Mrs. Lawless has been Deputy Chairperson of the Wellington Rugby League Board of Control and Chairperson of the Wellington Schoolboys Rugby League. Mr. Long Lee of Auckland. Mr. Lee, an engineer, has devoted his entire time since arrived in New Zealand to the Vietnamese people and the community, helping to raise money to assist victims of national dis natural disasters in Vietnam and taken a special <coughs> interest in the welfare of the sick and elderly in his community. <coughs> Mr. Lee also teaches English and other aspects of life in New Zealand to Vietnamese settlers. Bob McDonald of Auckland. Mr. McDonald is a champion bowler who has competed in the sport since the 1940s and has worked throughout that time to encourage young people into the game. Mr. McDonald has supported the Hullberg Trust for the last 21 years and has aided the introduction of partially sighted to the sport, becoming Vice President of Blind Bowls New Zealand. Mrs. Rana Marakura of Oakuni. Mrs. Marakura has been instrumental in the teaching of Taureo and the establishment of Kohanga Reo and Kura Kaupapa in her local community. In 1993, she, she shared in establishing the Māori language class in partnership with the Marae in the local primary school. Mrs. Marakura has mastered the schools of weaving, harakiki, tanako, kete whakariol, and as well as writing her own stories and translating traditional stories into Māori.
Mrs Molly Newman of Upper Hutt. Mrs Newman has given over 50 years service to the Guides New Zealand. Her service includes a variety of appointments in both Brownies and Girl Guides at both local and district level. Mrs Newman is also a very active member of her local church. Mr. Keith Parker of Whangarei. Mr. Parker, a retired banker. During the last decade, he has published four books relating to the history of Kaitaia, which are regarded as an invaluable record of the history of Kaitaia in the far north. Excellency, to receive the Queen's Service Medal for Public Services, Mr. Murray Jones of Oamaru. Mr. Jones has made a major contribution to the Oamaru community with a particular emphasis on health services. He has been involved in the Order of St. John since 1969 and is currently Deputy Chairman of its Southern Region Trust Board. Mr. Jones is a past Chairman of the Waitaki Hospital Board, current National Secretary of the New Zealand Diabetes Association, and Chairman of the Oamaru Victim Support Group. Mr. Tuten Kesang of Auckland. Mr. Kesang has made an important contribution to race relations and to the community for many years. Since 1989, he has been a member of the Auckland Multicultural Society and has served two terms as president. He has helped produce books on multiculturalism and helped establish the Asia Dynamic magazine and the Asia Down Under television <coughs> program. Mr. Bruce McLeod of Napier. Mr. McLeod's voluntary service includes collecting for many appeals, including Corso, the IHC, SPCA, and Save the Children. He is a driver for Meals on Wheels, provides transport for age concern, and is a relief driver for the Presbyterian Support Services. Mr. McLeod has been a Citizens Advice Bureau Councillor since 1990, and he is a committee member and chairperson for the Napier Food Bank. He is a committee member and past chairman of the Hayseed Trust helping local unemployed persons. Mr. Matt McMillan of Auckland. Mr. McMillan has made an important contribution to Waitakere community over many years. He has served as a volunteer of welfare officers, officer for the Titirangi RSA since 1991, undertaking those duties on a full-time basis since 1993. From, 1996, from 1966 to 1993, Mr. McMillan was at various times the head chauffeur for the public service garage.
This is Julie Manahi of Waiheke Island. Mrs. Manahi has made a major contribution to youth care in Auckland for almost 20 years. Since 1983, she has worked for the Aroha Nui Society Street Kids, or Youth Justice, and with her husband has run the Pirimai Home for Boys, caring for up to 16 youths at a time. In 1992, Mrs. Manahi was elected to the board of the Waiheke Health Trust, becoming deputy chairperson in 1996. Mrs. Mavis Merritt of Auckland. Mrs. Merritt has helped cater for the needs of psychiatric patients in the Auckland region for the last 22 years. During that time, Mrs. Merritt has provided patients with clothing, gifts, and entertainment, as well as tuition in craft work. She has befriended them as inpatients and helped them to adjust to community life after discharge. Mrs. Merritt continues to be involved with community mental health support groups. Frank Paprell of Whanganui. Mr. Paprell has been involved with numerous community groups over many years, including the Deary Hill Neighbourhood Watch Group, volunteer worker for the Department of Conservation, and driver for Meals on Wheels. He also assists the local sick and elderly at their homes. In addition, Mr. Paprell has been the Deary Hill Civil Defence and Neighbourhood Support Coordinator. Since 1990, he has been a part of the Friends of the River, a body concerned with the preservation, history, and protection of the Whanganui River. Your Excellency, that completes the investiture. Ngā manu hiri tuarangi, ngā rangatira mā, ngā iwi o te motu, ngā mihi mahana ki a koutou katoa. We have visitors from overseas here today. We have many respected guests and, of course, people from all parts of New Zealand. And I give you my very warm greetings. Twice a year, I have the great honour of meeting a small number of people from all corners of New Zealand who come to Government House for their investiture. While my duties as Governor General encompass a wide range of activities, these ceremonies for me are among the most important events of the year. In a world where so much is measured by dollars and cents, it is important to recognise and to celebrate other achievements, particularly those that have benefited the community or have given us a sense of pride in being New Zealanders. That is why this occasion, when we show our gratitude to those who have done so much for our country, is so important to me. Some of you have already had recognition for your work, but for others it may be the first time. One thing I can say is that all of you, the honour that you have received today is well deserved. And I am particularly pleased to have among us people from all walks of life and all reaches of society. The New Zealand Honours System, and it is a system that is genuinely New Zealand, is based on merit and merit alone. The New Zealand Honours System recognises achievement 
for and on behalf of all New Zealanders. It recognises community involvement, selfless dedication, ingenuity, intelligence and talent. This gathering then makes today a special day, not only for me, but also for you, the recipients, but, and also for the whole of New Zealand. For this is a day when we as a nation can say thank you to all of you who have done so much for us. You display the very best of our national character. It is my hope that your work and your example will inspire other New Zealanders to work as tirelessly and as selflessly as each of you have. It has been a great privilege for me to confer these honours on you today. On behalf of all New Zealanders, I congratulate you for what you have done, for what you have achieved, and above all, for what you have done for your fellow citizens. Now shortly, the formal part of this ceremony will end, uh, and when um, we have sung uh, the national anthem, I'd like to invite you to join me in morning tea and to have a walk through what is our house. It doesn't belong to me, it belongs to all New Zealanders. So I hope you'll take the opportunity to have a good look around this morning. But now we'll sing both verses of the national anthem. Mm -hmm. 